Hi everyone, this is Ashley Williams. I am the assistant editor of The Wholesaler, PHC News, and Plumbing Engineer Magazines. And today I am speaking with Leanne Wood Newman of Blind Camel PR. Um, she's taken the time to speak with me because her PR agency actually coordinates the social media for the kitchen and bath industry show, better known as KBiz. And today she's going to speak to me a little bit about what KBiz does with their social media strategy as well as what special things they do um, when you're live posting. Um, so I'm going to let Leanne introduce herself. And then also, Leanne, can you go ahead and tell us um, about the general goals and the things that you all do with social media for KBiz? Hi, everybody. Um, as Ashley said, I'm Leanne Wood Newman, and my agency is Flying Camel. Actually, the full name is Advertising, Design, and PR. Uh, we are out of close to Toronto, Ontario. If I told you the town, you probably never heard of it. Um, we are part of the agency collaborative that works on um, the KBIS marketing and PR. My part, I work with two other agencies on this, O'Reilly De Palma out of Chicago and White Good out of Pennsylvania. Um, my part of, of kind of the overall um, scheme of, of PR is the social media. So my team has been leading the social media since December of 2012. So we have one show under our belt, and we're looking forward to Design and Construction Week in 2014 for the next show. Uh, so basically, your first question, Ashley, was talking about you know our goals for social media for KBIS. We use uh, several platforms right now. Uh, we use Facebook, Twitter, and we're now launching Instagram and Pinterest. Um, our goals for those, because each each platform obviously has its own role in the social media mix, um, Facebook is our community hub. Um, we have a really great community there, um, well over 5,000 members. Of course, we'd like it to grow, um, moving towards the show. Um, and Twitter is our our voice of authority. It's our where we drive the conversation from, because we have so many messages that need to go out about a show that we're using. And can you talk to me a little bit, uh, just day to day, what's it like at the show live? Well, first of all, we had to uh, train at the gym every day for about you know 10 weeks prior to the show because we literally ran about 10, we, we say kilometers, we literally ran, like, uh, ran about 10 miles a day at the show. We scheduled what we could um, in terms of, you know, um, events on Facebook and events on Twitter, things that we knew that were going to happen, our exhibitor events, our keynote um, addresses, our speeches, any events that we knew prior to the show, um, we tried to schedule as much as possible. But one thing that we were very passionate about is making sure we really captured the buzz on the floor um, and in the events so that we were really getting a good sense of what was going on on the show floor. Um, so. To kind of summarize that, live tweeting an event like that, it, it was a it was a blast. It was a big challenge, um, and but we saw great success. And could you share with our readers just any do's and don'ts, very simple um, tips yeah. for live posting? Um, like for, I often say to people, uh, like our audience, there are a lot of them own showrooms or or design studios or something like that. If they have the opportunity, if they're having a customer appreciation event or something, you know, like that, that that they could have the opportunity to do live social media, absolutely try it out because it, it you know, it, it is such a good marketing tool. You can you can talk about it before, during, and after, so it's really good content for a small business. Mm -hmm. So what I would recommend um, for live tweeting, like our show and perhaps their event, uh, would be schedule what you can um, ahead of time. You know, give give your audience fair warning. You know, we are going to be at, we are doing this um, at 9.30. You also have to interact. You can't just be pushing, pushing, pushing the information out. You need to be seeing who is responding to you. We were getting lots of people asking questions last year. Um, so we couldn't ignore have wireless. Uh, make sure you're ready to go with the apps on your phone. However you decide to, to do the event, make sure that you're all set up. Um, if you're going to use a hashtag, Make sure it's something that you communicated before. Don't make a hashtag up on the spot just because you think of it. Make sure that your hashtag for your live event is well communicated before, or else it really it really means nothing. No one's going to look. And highlight things that come out in the live conversation. Pick out quotes that people said. Um, as much as you would if you were writing a story about your event, pick out interesting things and make sure that that's what's going out. out. 
Use rich media. Take a lot of pictures. People love clicking on a, on a Twitter pic or an Instagram pic. Um, if you can take a little, Instagram now has video. You can do 15 second video. That's fabulous for something live or a Vine if you want, if you think you can capture something really well in, in six seconds. And we're excited to come to KBiz this year. I'm sure you have some announcements for us um, that our readers can look forward to, um, specifically about social media. Is there anything they can be doing now? Um, and then anything new that you all are bringing on board for this year's show or maybe the next year's show? There's some hashtags that we use. We use hashtag KBiz2014. A new one that we're using is hashtag um, DCW2014 and that's going to be the whole um, that's all the events in and around design and construction week and our co-location with the builder show for next for next year so that's really important um, yeah and just uh, get a sense of the community what we're doing and the kind of information um, in terms of what's new um, as I said we are adding we're adding a little bit of an inspirational piece we're, we're gonna um, we want to inspire our community as well so we're gonna be doing some really fun things with Instagram and some really fun things with Pinterest um, right now for example we're building all of the um, KBIS exhibitor boards so you can literally go to our KBIS boards and you can see images which people love to look at in the kitchen and bath industry images of all of the um, exhibitors that are going to be there so so that's that's important too for next year, our goal is to start developing our Google Plus communities. You all looking at home can look out for a QA and a in print that I did with Leanne um, about KBiz and about live posting. And to close, I'm going to let Leanne leave you all with her social media and contact information. Sure. Uh, I am at Wood Newman. Pretty, um, pretty simple, my last name. Um, if you want some really great, my, my business account is um, at flying underscore camel and we really pump out a lot of great information about social media everything from basic you know Facebook 101 to you know how to maximize you know a, um, an Instagram strategy there's lots of good information there um, so thanks for the opportunity Ashley this was great to talk about I'm all excited about the show now and uh, <laughs> and moving forward to design and construction week in 2014